Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can paint this underwater scene in just three steps. Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Chantelle and today we're gonna to be using watercolor. I went to an aquarium recently and was absolutely filled with inspiration. This photo in particular is the one that we're gonna be painting today. We're gonna to simplify it a little bit. We're focusing on the fish and doing a nice blurry background. The first step is the sketch. I've already done the sketch digitally and I'll leave that down below so you can print it off. Tracing paper is always good, but printing off the sketch and using graphite works really well too. All you need to do is flip the sketch over and fill the back with graphite. You don't need to press very hard, but just make sure all the fish is covered. Then we're gonna flip the paper over, put the fish in the position where you want it and use a pencil to go over that sketch. Once the sketch is complete, we're going to go in with masking fluid. You don't have to go in with masking fluid, but it makes step two a lot easier. I'm using my Winsor & Newton masking fluid and a ruling pen. You can also use a paintbrush, but make sure you dip it in soap first. And then we're going to apply the masking fluid over the fish in a nice thin layer. Make sure you do this step really quickly. We're now going to leave this to dry completely naturally. This will take at least 30 minutes. And on to step two. This second step is definitely the most fun. The first thing we're going to do is wet the entire page with clean water. Then we're going to grab our watercolour paint. The colours you use and the way you apply the paint is completely up to you. I chose to use pinks, purples and blues because they're really fun colours. We're just going to fill the entire page with whatever colours you want. And if you didn't have masking fluid for the earlier step, it's really important that you go around the fish and not over it. It's completely doable without masking fluid, but it does make it a little bit more tricky. At this step, you can add whatever you want to have fun. You can use salt, alcohol, cling film, whatever you want. The result you get really depends on the paper you're using. Then we're going to leave that to completely dry. When you add salt, alcohol or cling film, it will take a lot longer to dry. And the third step. For the third step, we're going to be adding another layer of paint. But first, we need to remove that masking fluid. It's important to be very gentle when removing the masking fluid. You can use a hard rubber, you can even use your fingers or your nails. I found that the method to removing it doesn't really change the outcome. It will either work on the paper you're using, or it might rip it a little bit. Unfortunately, this was my first time using masking fluid on this paper and it did rip a little bit. We're going to follow the reference to colour in our fish. You can go for a realistic tone or you can go a little bit bright and vibrant. That's what I did. I just stuck to really bright oranges. I decided to refine the coral a little bit, but that step is completely up to you. Now that the layers dried a little bit, I decided to add a bit of coral at this point too.
Whether or not you want to add a black outline around your fish is your choice. I decided to use a fine liner to go around my fish just to add a little bit more definition, but you could easily use a Posca. Again, we're loosely following the reference, but you can add as much detail as you like here. And that's the piece done! This was a super simple tutorial to show you how you could paint an underwater scene in three steps. There's loads of ways you could change this up. You could use different colours, you could add more detail, you could add more fish. I decided to keep mine really loose and added some splatters too for fun. Unfortunately the paper that I'm using didn't handle salt and alcohol very well, but there's definitely lots of other papers out there that do. And that's it! I would love to know if you would give this tutorial a try, and if you do please tag me on Instagram so that I can see. Thank you so much for watching, have a fantastic rest of your day, make sure you create lots of art, and I'll see you on Thursday for a new video. Bye bye!